Hello, it's Duncan. This week's video is on an important but dry topic, getting Gradle version catalogues working with Gradle convention plugins. To spice things up, I've changed how I manage screen and webcam capture. That's allowed me to up my editing game, so stay tuned for transitions, zooms and tweening. Please let me know in the comments if it makes the content easier to follow. There were lots of lovely comments on my last video on Gradle Convention Plugins, and in particular Xenox268 recommended the TypeSafe Conventions Gradle plugin, which we can use in build source settings.gradle. So let's go and have a look for that. Actually, just before I do, I had previously found this Stack Overflow question and answer. Somebody who was very excited about version catalogs, but discovered that they couldn't use them in build source. And there's a solution posted here that basically seems to point to the Gradle libs from the outside project, which it claims just works. There's something here around the libraries for libs. I don't really understand that, and I'm not sure I want to. So let's go and looking for our plugin. Here it is. And if we look at the releases, you see that its latest release was only two days ago. And if we look at all the releases, you'll see that it was only released this year. And it seems to claim that we can replace our current plugins reference with an alias to libs, which is what we want, and also do the same sort of thing in dependencies rather than whatever on earth this is, which appears to be a way of doing it. Okay, so quick start. We add this plugin in our settings.gradle.kts. So I'll copy that. And now we're back in IntelliJ. Let's just remind ourselves what the issue is. We've built this convention plugin here. When we apply this plugin, we get Java and Kotlin and some configuration for our tests and for Java. And we're applying this plugin in our test app. Here it is, ID Kotlin conventions and in our main app. Here it is again. But whilst these builds can reference things in our libs.toml here, at the moment, at least the convention plugin itself can't. And as a result, we are specifying the version of Gradle in here. Anyway, just to remind me, in settings.gradle.kts of our build source, we need to put in this thing. So we need a new file called settings.gradle.kts. There it is. We'll add that to Git and we will paste that malarkey in there. IntelliJ is importing that project. And so now apparently we can replace our plugin by ID with a plugin by alias. So let's take that thing. And now in our conventions plugin, we should be able to paste that. Is that true? Well, let's just force the import. Oh, it seems to be happy. Let's see if we can click through and we can good. Let's now try command line build. So dot slash gradle w clean build. Nice cup of coffee. Browser tests run. It's all rather pleasing. We have a build. And I think we're going to say thank you very much to Radislav. Well, I'm reasonably confident on the pronunciation of Radislav in any case. So then, now we have access to library versions, what else can we do in our conventions plugin? Well, let's have a look at what versions our app uses. It's not clear to me at the moment which of these dependencies we should be sharing. At the moment, they're mostly exported as implementation dependencies from this sub-project to the test one. But I'm reasonably confident that maybe the test things we could take. So I think probably if we were to take, well, let's take that, copy it. And if we look in our test app, We'll see that currently uses libs junit. Let's take those two. And I think we could cut them out of there. So we can go over here and say dependencies and paste those in there. Now, they're not in test apps dependencies, but it should still be able to see them from the convention. So this time I'm going to go to the terminal and see whether I can build and run everything. I won't clean this time. We do have some sort of interesting issue here. 
The embedded Kotlin and Kotlin DSL plugins rely on features of Kotlin 1.9 that might work differently than in the requested version 2.0.21. This is an unsupported Kotlin plugin version. And what I think it's saying is that the convention plugin is saying that it's using Kotlin 20.0.21, but Gradle itself is expecting to run with 1.9.24. And I think if we say dot slash Gradle W minus minus version, yes, there's our 1.9.24. So once again, we have a problem with the version of a technology that Gradle is using internally compared to the version that it is exposing to us to use in our builds. I don't know how to solve this one, but we are at least a little bit further on. But maybe now our plugin is actually declaring this version of Kotlin here. I can get rid of the version here and just use whatever happens to be built in. That might work. Uh, well, not immediately. Maybe we'll try clean. No, that doesn't do it either. Oh, well, just another one of those Gradle things. If you know how to solve that problem, then please do let me know in the comments. One more thing to try is that at the end of last week, doing a plain old build with IntelliJ was showing an error. Let's have a go at that. Oh, well, that does appear to be all right. Hooray. I think we should commit that before it has a chance to change its mind. So then we have added a settings.gradle with our TypeSafe conventions plugin. That may or may not have allowed us to remove the version from the build file for the plugin itself, but definitely has allowed us to reference the Kotlin plugin at a particular version from the libs. And by extension, we can now use those version independencies that are inherited by users of this plugin. And that has allowed our test app to remove its dependency on JUnit and Kotlin test. It does beg the question of what version of Kotlin test is being used here. And I choose to assume it's the right one. So let's commit that, see what AI assistant thinks. Simplified dependencies, applied plugin conventions. Uh, yes, I think that misses the point a bit. Maybe we just say use type safe conventions, Gradle plugin to access libs versions in Kotlin conventional Gradle. Splendid. If you're a regular viewer, then if all has gone well, you'll have noticed by now that I'm trying spending more time editing and less recording. So as this feels like a logical place to stop, I'm going to stop. Except to say that I've been learning a lot about Gradle from Rob Moore, and in particular this page on Gradle Insider Guidelines. He tells us things like use the Kotlin DSL, don't have a root project build, don't use subprojects, when to run clean, etc. He also says don't use build source, use included build plugins, which I don't understand yet, but we all need something to aspire to. On the subject of aspirations, I'm pleased to announce that Nat and my Kotlin Conf workshop is now sold out. But if you're going to Craft Conf, which is in Budapest the week after Kotlin Conf, we'll be running the workshop again there and tickets are still available. Well, that's it for this week, short and hopefully sweet. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, buy the book that I wrote with that price called Java to Kotlin Refactoring Guidebook, details of which are in the show notes below. Thanks for watching.